All right, this is going to be another round of the 10-minute warm-up, and uh, we're definitely going to take this a little bit more on the hips today. So to get this started, bring yourself to a seat, and you're going to take this into kind of a supported squat. So feet down in front of you, bring the hands behind the shoulders, lift your seat up off the floor, and to see that the feet are forward, well, at least about hips with distance apart, heels and toes out. I want you to curl your toes up off the floor, stay lifted between the shoulders, keep your neck nice and long. And then just fold both knees over to the right and keep your toes curled, or over to the left side, I should say. Bring this through center and bring the knees over to the right. Back through center, over to the left side again. Through center, stay lifted between the shoulders, bring the knees to the right. Back through center, over to the left side again. Through center over to the right. And then bring it through center to the left side one more time. And then come back through center over to the right side. Now once you're ready, just bring it back into center. Go ahead, set your seat down. Now I'm just turning for the camera here, but keep your feet in front of you about hips with distance apart. Reach your arms forward, round your spine completely. And then keep your spine rounded. And just pull back slowly, as slow as you can, lower toward the floor. We're going to do this on a 10 count. So come back 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then on one, just bring your arms to your sides, relax your head down. And then draw the knees in close, keep your arms to your sides, keep your palms pressed down. Extend both legs up toward the ceiling as straight as you can. Now belly pulled in, low back on the floor, point your toes, straighten the legs as much as you can. If you can straighten completely, tense up your thighs, lock your knees. If you gotta bend the knees, minimize the bend, keep the ankles stacked above your hips. And then from here with the toes still pointed, go ahead and scissor the legs side to side. Just take it back and forth, keep your belly pulled in, keep your low back down. <laughs> now you can take it slow or fast, you can go through a wider or narrower range. But as you move, try to speed up a little bit and try to take the legs out a little bit wider as you move and just keep breathing with this keep the movement steady and again just keep the movement steady reach to your big toes try to speed up just a little bit more And then go ahead, bring this back into center with the legs together. Now, keep your right leg extended. Bring the left knee down to the floor and keep that left foot rooted. Right leg stays as straight as you can hold. Now, with an inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And with the exhale, curl, lift up and reach past your right thigh. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, curl right again. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl to the right. Inhale, reach us out long. And exhale, curl to your right side. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, curl to the right. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, curl right again. That's six. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, curl right. That's seven. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl right. And that's eight. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl right. That's nine. Inhale, reach long. With the exhale, curl right. That's ten. Now inhale, reach long, just hold here, and switch it out. Right foot to the floor, left leg up high, and straighten that left leg as much as you can. Keep the ankle stacked over the hip. Take an inhale. With the exhale, curl and reach to the left side. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl left again. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl left, that's three. Inhale, reach this out long. Exhale, curl left, that's four. Inhale, reach long. With the exhale, curl left, that's five. Inhale, reach this long. Exhale, curl left, that's six. Inhale, reach long. And with the exhale, curl left, that's seven. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl left, that's eight. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl left, that's nine. Inhale, reach long. With the exhale, curl left, that's ten. Inhale, reach long. And then just bring your arms to your sides. Bring your left foot down to the floor. I'm going to take a variation of bridge from here. So bring the feet in close. And we're going to do this with the legs crossed. I want you to bring your left foot toward the center of the mat. Cross with the right ankle past your left thigh. Now you're not going to cross the legs tight. So the right knee's bent. Bring the ankle past your left thigh. There should be open space underneath your bent right leg. Now keep the legs pressing into each other. So the knees are in line front to back. Arms at your sides, palms to the floor. Let's go up and down. So then inhale, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, press your hips up high, and then exhale lower. Inhale, lift your hips again. 
Exhale, roll down. Inhale, press up high. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, come down. Inhale, press up one more time. Hold here. Now keep your glutes squeezing. Keep the legs pushing into each other. You're trying to point that right knee straight up. Just breathe. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring it back down. Now switch that. Right foot comes to center. And then bring the left ankle past your right thigh this time. Now keep the legs pressing into each other. Keep the knees in line front to back. Make sure there's some open space underneath your bent left knee. Now arms to your sides up and down from here. With an inhale, press the hips up high. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, lift up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press your hips high. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift your hips again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press this up high. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift your hips. And then exhale, lower. Now inhale, press up and hold this time. Keep your glutes squeezing. Left leg pushes into the right, trying to point the left knee straight up. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Bring your knees to your chest. Bring your hands to your knees. Squeeze everything in. And then as you squeeze and curl up, lift your head and shoulders, bring your nose close to your knees. Now cross at the ankles, roll forward to a seat. And then once you're up, we're going to take this into a reclining position. Now I want you to extend your left leg straight. Come down to the left forearm and onto your left hip. Right foot stays behind your left leg. Now bring the right hand in front of your chest. Keep the toes of your left foot pointed out to the side. And then push through the floor, lift your hips up as high as you can, stay lifted. Now just work on that left foot. Bring it up as high as you can go. And then set it down. Left foot up for two. Set it back down. Left foot up for three. Set it down. Lift up for four. And come back down. Lift up for five. Take it slow. Bring it down. Lift up for six. And then come back down. Lift up for seven. Bring it down. Lift up for eight. And set it down. Lift up for nine. Bring it down. Lift up for ten. Set it down and sink all the way down. And then just come through center and go to the other side. So right leg extended, come down to the right hip and onto your right forearm. Left hand in front of your chest. Right foot, keep the toes pointed out to the side. Press into the floor, lift your hips and keep them lifted here. Right foot up for one. Set it down. Lift up for two. And set it down. Up for three. Set it down again. Up for four. And set it down. Lift for five. Bring it down. Up for six and set it down. Up for seven. Bring it down. Up for eight and set it down. Up for nine. Bring it down. Up for ten. Set it down and come back to a seat. Shake your legs out for just a moment. And then once you're ready, go ahead, cross at the ankles, come forward, your hands into all fours. And once you're in all fours, we're just going to take this right into the wrists. Now, wrists need the shoulders and knees need the hips to set this up. Keep your palms facing down. Rotate your fingertips to the side and then in toward the knees as far as you can go. Now, set your hands flat. Spread the fingers while I dig your fingertips down into the mat. Press your spine up toward the ceiling and keep that lift. Now, maybe just stay here. You can keep gripping. Sway the shoulders side to side. Maybe circle around. And this is good enough. Just keep that tension in your hands. But if you can take this further, keep the arms straight. And with the palms still flat, just slide the knees as far back as you can to stretch this out. That'll be a deeper stretch. And this is good enough, but if you can go even further, just stay stretched out like this and move one leg at a time. Step your left foot out to the side and try to set that foot flat. And then bring the knee back down. Right foot out to the side, try to set the foot flat. And bring the knee to the floor. Left foot out to the side again. Come back to center. You're still gripping with your fingers. Right foot out to the side. And then bring the knee back down. Left foot to the side one more time. And then back to the knee. Right foot out to the side one more time. And set the knee down. And then just come up onto the fingertips. Down onto your heels. And shake your hands out. Loosen your fingers and your wrists. And then once the hands are ready, bring yourself to all fours. And we're going to take this up into dolphin. So I want you to bring both forearms down to the floor. Now, you can have the forearms parallel with the palms down or push the palms together, whatever suits you best. See if the elbows stay shoulder width, no wider. Now, press your hands down, tuck the toes of both feet, lift your knees and bring your hips up high. Walk the feet in, get the hips up as high as you can. Now, as your hands are pressing down, you can always just stay here, but if you can move, then raise your right leg up high behind you and scorpion the pose. Bend the right knee, hang your right foot left, try to twist and stack your hips. 
Now with an inhale, straighten your right leg. And with the exhale, just bring the foot back down to the floor. Inhale your left leg up high. Bend your left knee, hang your left foot right, hold here, twist and try to stack your hips. And then straighten your left leg, reach up and bring the foot down. Now you're still in dolphin, keep the hips up high, keep your hands pushing down. And let's go back and forth from here to dolphin push up. So for that, with an inhale, bring your chin as far forward as you can. And then press back, hips high. Forward for two. And then press it back. Forward for three. Press it back again. Forward for four. And press it back. Forward for five. Press it back again. Forward for six. And then press back. Now forward for seven. Press it back. Forward for eight. And then press back again. Now forward for nine. Press it back. And then forward for ten. Press back one more time. Hold here. One last thing. Work this to some compression. Try to take a baby crow. Keep your hands pressing down. Heels lifted. Walk your feet forward. Bend your knees. And bring the knees as close to the armpits as you can. Let the thighs come into the sides of your ribs. Now work to touch the knees to your arms if you can do that. Look forward. Start to lean. See about lifting your feet. Your body will be curled tight into a ball. And then release it. Bring everything down. Come up to all fours. You take a seat whenever you're ready. And that is a 10-minute warm-up for this round. Thank you very much.